Hi everyone, I'm Jeannie Dubon and welcome to this special series with the EDS Society. I'm here to keep you moving safely at home. Today we're doing a gentle chair class. So you just need a sturdy chair where you can put your feet flat on the floor. So you don't need any special equipment and we're just going to do some nice relaxing gentle movement together. So let's begin by closing our eyes, resting your hands softly on your thighs. So allow the eyes to close and just start to allow your awareness to come to your breath. So notice the inhale and the exhale without force, without changing. Allow your jaw to be soft and your shoulders to melt away from your ears. Feel the shoulders resting on the back of your body like you're wearing a shawl, a heavy cape or a shawl draped over your shoulders. And feel the pelvis heavy into the chair Notice if you're feeling even on your left and your right side of your body. Allow the back of the thighs to rest onto the chair so that we don't have any tension around the thigh bones. Notice your feet resting on the floor. Do they feel equal in weight? Are your toes soft? Can you allow your shin bones to fall into your ankle bones, releasing any tension around the back of the leg? And we're very slowly, as we take stock of where we are today, how we're feeling right now, without judging ourselves, just allowing this quietness to wash over the body, a de-stressing wash, releasing tension from your soft tissue and your mind. So allow your mind to become quiet. And then very slowly, just allow the eyelids to softly open, come back into the room. And take one more breath. Let that tension go. Good. So we'll just start wiggling our toes. So see if you can just start to move your toes. Just get a bit of blood flow into the lower leg. Okay. And then what you're going to do is just slowly start with the left leg. Just slide the leg forward a little bit and just see if you can touch your toes onto the floor and then see if you can just flex your foot. Again, be very soft with these movements, really gentle, and then tap back down and slide the leg back in. And we'll just do the other side. So out, we're gonna flex the foot, point, and bring it back. So these are really useful because if we've been staying home and we haven't been moving maybe as much as we normally would, maybe we haven't been out walking or any activities that you normally would, it's really important that we keep the calf pump. There's a muscle behind the calf here that pumps blood up to the heart, and we wanna keep that nice and healthy. So a little bit of flexing of the ankle helps activate that calf pump. And then what you're gonna do is just, again, helping with circulation, just hold that leg. Again, try not to move the whole leg so you can keep your hands on it and just do a couple of ankle circles. Notice that my leg doesn't move, so I'm just trying to move the ankle. Just three or four in each direction and then we'll do the other side. Again, hold on so that what you don't want to see is the whole leg rolling around. So keep it nice and still and just see if there's any tightness in there. Again, you're not forcing, so it's not about doing a big range of movement. You're trying to keep it really soft and think of this just as a gentle mobilization. And then we're gonna come back down and just let your feet rest. Maybe wiggle them about again and just place them softly on the floor. 
and then just find your pelvis again and check that you still feel nice and balanced left and right. So we're just gonna do a little bit of upper body movement to help really get those lungs functioning, get some air into the lungs. So from there, we're just gonna float one arm up. Again, it doesn't matter how far you go. So it's, if you can't go very high, that's fine. So if I can only go to here, that's fine. So we're gonna inhale. As the arm comes up, the shoulder drops down. Exhale, keep the shoulder heavy as we come back down. And we'll do the other side, inhale. Remember, work to your own range. Softly exhaling back down. And now both together. Inhale. Shoulders stay heavy, not, none of this coming up to your ears. Nice and heavy. Exhale back down. One more set. Inhale. Trying to keep nice and balanced in the pelvis. Inhale up. Pelvis stays heavy. Exhale down. Both together. Inhale. Now this time we're just going to take those arms softly out to the side and just increase our motion a little bit. So inhaling up, open the lungs, open the chest, around we go. Again, you're going to make that circle whatever size feels right for you today. Good. Now we're going to bring the arms up again. You're just going to fold them so you can just rest your thumb in this sort of the elbow crease. And we're going to stay again nice and heavy on the pelvis and we're just going to do a very gentle twist without leaning to the side. So we're going to keep the pelvis nice and heavy and we're just going to rotate. We're going to take a breath in. And as we exhale, we're going to come back. And again, keep those shoulders. What tends to happen is they start to finish up here. So you've got to keep an eye on those shoulders. Keep everything nice and soft and juicy. So we're going to go to the other side. Take a breath while you're there and then come back. So notice that I'm not forcing. It doesn't matter how far I go, but do my feet and my pelvis stay heavy? Do I feel the air coming into my upper back? And back down and just release. Let's do a few lovely shoulder rolls. So inhale up, exhale down and around. So these are great because we often hold a lot of tension up here in the shoulders. You might hear some crunching and some cracking going on. And again, that's quite normal. And back down. So the final spinal movement we're gonna do here is to the side. So you might want to leave your arms by your side. You might want to float the arm up. So again, listen to what's right for you. So I'll show you both versions. We're gonna inhale. Exhale, I'm going to slide over to the side, keeping the pelvis heavy so I'm not falling off my chair. And I'm coming back. And if you want to do it with the arm up, we're going to float the arm up and we're going to lean to the side. And again, you should get a lovely opening sensation down the side of the body and back. Let's do one more each side coming up and over and back, really soft. Think how we're really opening the side body, keeping that pelvis heavy. Back we come, just rest the hands back on your thighs and do a couple of little shoulder rolls. Now our final exercise before we do some quiet closer, closing, we're gonna do a little bit of a forward flex. So take a breath in, gently nod the head. again very small nod of the head, and then you're gonna soften your chest, and we're gonna to start to roll forward. See if you can take a breath in at the bottom. Can you breathe into the back of your body? Stand into your feet and roll back up. Feel the pelvis becoming heavy, shoulders are soft. So that motion came from the heaviness of the pelvis not you pulling on your shoulders. Okay, now from there, just settle the pelvis and close the eyes again. So with your eyes closed, hands resting on your thighs, draw your attention back to your breath. See if your bones feel heavier if your breath has become slower, quieter. So 
see if your thoughts have become less busy and we have a general sense of calm throughout the whole body throughout the nervous system so our body and mind in 10 minutes can enjoy some peace and some rest. Now again, very gently allow the eyes to come open, softly come back into the room and just maybe do a couple of neck circles, very softly, just roll the head. Again, they don't have to be big. And let's go the other way. and come back to the middle. One final breath, nice deep breath. And let that go, sigh it out. So thank you for joining me in our second session with the EDS Society, our seated chair class. I hope to see you next time. And until then, keep Zebra strong. <laughs>